Hi, today I'm gonna show you how to create speed ramp effect. But before we begin, if you're new on my channel, and I know you are, make sure to smash the subscribe button and off we go. Okay, so first you need to make some footage, preferably with the gimbal. I don't have one. That's why I decided to shoot with my DJI Mini 3 drone. Yeah, I know, not very common use case for a drone, but it worked. Try to shoot as steady as you can. Film the object around several times, make some approaches to your object and you're ready to go back to the editor. One more thing, remember, the higher resolution and higher frame rate speed, the better. Let's jump straight into DaVinci Resolve. I use free version 18.5 beta. You'll find the link in the description on how to download and install it. So add your video to the timeline, search for the part you want to speed ramp, trim the clip, now tap Ctrl R key, place the playhead from where you want the speed ramp to begin, for instance here, add speed point, and drag right side of the clip. One more thing, enable Retime Curve. So now we have more control over the speed keyframes. Okay, so let's speed more our clip. In here you will see a small little dot. Select it and switch from linear to smooth. By dragging this line, you can decide how steep the ramp should be. Let's make it quite steep and increase the speed even more. Yeah, seems right. Now search for the target part of our speed ramp effect. So let's say we want to go from here, so trim it to the left, and we want to speed it up until here. So again, add new speed point, drag it to the left so that only left side of the clip is speeded up. Likewise, as before, search for this little white dot, select it and switch into smooth. Correct the steepness and let's increase the speed some more. Ok, so let's place those two clips side by side and see what we've got so far. Not bad. Now you need to slow down the rest of the clip so it looks even more smooth and epic. First, let's get rid of the unnecessary part by trimming to the right. And change the speed to about 50%. It depends in what FPS you've recorded your video. I shot with 60 FPS, so if I decrease by 50%, I still got 30 FPS, which is fine. So this is what we've got. I think we can speed up the second clip even more. Yeah, it looks better now. So now, final touch by adding blur to our effect. Go to effects and add adjustment clip on top. Resize it so it covers only our speed ramp effect. Now go to OpenFX and search for directional blur. Apply it to our adjustment clip. In the inspector, go to effects tab and increase the blur strength so that the blur angle is visible. Now correct the blur angle so it looks horizontal and correct the blur strength. And last thing, set fade in and out of the adjustment clip. That's it, our speed ramp effect is ready. In the next video I will show you how to create some basic effects in color page and fusion. So don't forget to subscribe like and comment. I hope it was helpful. See you in the next one. Bye!